Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today I'm pulling out some really old footage from college, so I do apologize for the kind of potato quality of this footage. I just thought it'd be fun to do something with it since it's been sitting around on my computer for a while. This was a trip I took to the Fort Knox Gold Mine, just north of Fairbanks, where I went to college, and they periodically did tours for college students and members of the public, so it was fun to go up there and see how a modern open pit gold mine operates. Here's a quick look at the historical expansion of the Fort Knox mine from Google's uh, historic images. And they don't always have coverage for every area for each year, but scrolling through the early 2000s up to uh, 2011, 2012, 2015, 2016, 2017, and now 2020, you can definitely see some of the expansion of this mine pit. The Fort Knox mill is approximately in the center of this open pit area, and this processes the ore both from the main Fort Knox pit and from the nearby True North pit. Now there's a lot of existing mining history in this area. Fairbanks was a huge gold mining region, mostly placer gold and later dredges. In fact, there were several dredges in this Fort Knox area. One of them was supposedly destroyed by the open pit mine. There's another dredge up here at Fairbanks Creek. And all of these sort of disturbed areas on the topo maps are where the gold dredges went through back in the day. When you're looking on aerial photos, you can always tell where a dredge went through because it leaves these kind of scalloped ridges of material. So the dredges would go through these river valleys, scoop up basically all of the rock on the stream or river bottom, and deposit the unused rock out the back. Here's one of the old dredges still sitting in its pond where it stopped working in the 1950s or so. Initially, the Fort Knox mine had a very small shaft and underground operation back in the early 1900s. They didn't really find much at that point, so it sat empty for a while, and then it was restaked in the 1980s and developed into the current operation. The mine processes around 100,000 tons of rock every day, which is blasted out, trucked into the mill, ground up and crushed, and then treated with chemicals to remove all the gold. Here's where we got to see some blasting in the open pit. The miners will drill a bunch of holes into the quarry wall and floor, fill it with explosives, and blow out the rock. Then they scoop up the loose rock from blasting, put it in dump trucks, and take it over to the mill. It's dumped into the first step of processing, which is a gyratory cone crusher. And this is basically just a big steel cone that uh, twirls around and smashes up the rock. Sometimes an extra big chunk of rock gets stuck in the top of this cone crusher. And the mine has this cool robot arm thing with a big poker on the end that they can use to get in there and whack the big chunks until they're small enough to go through the crusher. I'll mix in some still photos that I took along with the video. Unfortunately, most of this video doesn't have sound, so you're just going to have to listen to me doing voiceovers. Sorry about that. So after the rock goes through that first crusher, then it goes into a series of mills. There's a sag mill, which is the larger diameter mill, and I believe that one does some of the initial processing to crush the rock down into smaller pieces. It then goes through two ball mills, and these crush the rock even further, making it into sort of a powder. You can see some of the conveyor belts and cranes running around the mill here, and these are just carrying the different sized rocks into different steps in the process. After the ore is crushed into a fine enough powder, it goes into some liquid processing steps. And these use a combination of chemicals, acids, and electricity to pull the gold and silver out of the waste material. Then once they have enough gold and silver concentrated, that goes into a furnace and gets melted down into ingots. The mine actually brought out a gold bar that they'd made and let us handle it and play with it and, you know, take some stupid photos with it. I hope this has been an interesting video. It was a cool tour. I kind of remember most of it. I did have to look up some of the details of how the mine operates on Wikipedia because I couldn't remember all of the exact processes and things that they told us about. Anyway, I just wanted to use this video for something. Uh, again, I apologize that it's early 2000s quality and kind of a potato. Thanks for watching anyway, and we'll see you next time.